Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading and this is a reading I'm really excited about because I really love all these full moons and new moons. Uh, this is a reading I'm using the moon cards. It's all about the new moon. So the new moon is coming out on July 20th, 2020 and this is a reading for July 20th, 2020. So um, I'm doing it as the same day to try and tap in to get the most information that I can possibly get as accurate as possible for you. Um, now this being said, this reading here is for the sign of cancer but it is a general reading so please keep in mind that it's not going to resonate with everybody so please do take what you know feels good with you what fits with your story and the rest just let it be leave it there it belongs to somebody else um, if however you would like to have a personal reading you have your own questions you would like to have answers to you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my pleasure to um, to follow up on that with you also, if you do enjoy my channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do show your support and your love to my channel by subscribing. It would be mostly appreciated. So with no further ado, we're going to begin this reading here. I'm concentrating on love for this one. So this is, you know, all about a love reading for the next month from new moon to new moon. So let's see what's in store for you. I have show the world the real you. I have meditate and contemplate and I have work through your feelings. Years, okay, so we're going to begin over here with uh, show the world the real you, which is a full moon in Aquarius. So we're just going to place this right over here and let's go see what this means for you. This card is bringing you the message that you need to detach a little from whatever situation you're asking about right now, which is your love relationship, of course. So someone might be keeping you at arm's length now and it's not a, such a bad thing. So um, you, it's important for you to allow life to unfold and progress. Now, even if change seems a little bit frightening right now as a prospect, if you've been holding yourself back from showing the world the real you, this card is here to remind you that your unique characteristics are what made you special. Okay? In a relationship, are you being too aloof, too detached? Go ahead, be yourself in whatever is coming for you. Um, please be aware of the feelings, but also be prepared to move on with this card. Um, this is about not losing the beauty and romance out of life, and it's about you're a little bit too much into your head, okay? Try, try and be a little bit more with your heart. Your heart speaks the truth all the time. Try and go with the heart. It's going to be much, much easier. So this is your very first card. The next one is Meditate and Contemplate. This is a new moon in Pisces. So my dear friends, new moons in Pisces here is all about dreams, dreams and romance of soulmates and poetry. It suggests that there's a new start that's coming your way and it's connected to a matter that leaves you feeling uh, somewhere between having you know your head into the clouds and being in totally an altered state. So there could be confusion and maybe a little bit of disappointment if that's what you've had before and that's what you're expecting. You know, it's a cycle. They come back all the time. So however, if you're onto a good thing, then wish really, really hard because the words of your soul, okay, and your heart could help bring out the manifestation of your dreams. If all that sounds a little too wet and watery, then, you know, that's just Pisces for you, let me say. This is a sign of the, you know, it's the last sign of the zodiac, zodiac um, and the new moon in Pisces card really just suggests a last ditch chance to make your dreams come true. So, I mean, let's just jump for it. Let's not let that chance go by. So this is really about using your feelings to guide your way. Logic is not going to help you right now, okay? And this is about facing your fears. Um, they may be holding you back. Uh, the situation is being healed right now, okay? And I do have to say as a little warning, please avoid being deceptive or willingly deceived. Now, the final card to your reading is work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Now, voila. This card suggests a rebirth. Think of your situation as the phoenix that's rising from the ashes as the birth, death, and rebirth paradigm. Now, that's what Scorpio, Scorpio energy is really all about. Whatever you've been through, there's a new start ahead. It might be a little dark. It almost certainly won't be rainbows and unicorns, but it will be deep and it's going to be transforming. This card also suggests that if you know 
you are magical, then this is the time to work your magic. It can also herald the start of a um, of a better time, okay? Um, if you've been experiencing something, something of a drought, an emotional intimacy is also on the menu for you. Scorpio is a sign that likes to go, you know, deep into body, mind, and spirit. So when this card comes up, there's nothing superficial about what is coming your way, okay? So um, this is, you know, time to let go of a grudge, perhaps, that you're holding, move on from jealousy, and, um, you know, Make a lovely investment into this relationship that you're in and enjoy your relationship right now. So that being said, this does conclude the reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you got some interesting information on your next new moon cycle. Um, if you would like to have a private reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. In the meanwhile, please do subscribe to my channel and we'll be seeing each other very soon for one of my other you know, numerous readings that I do throughout the week. So have a great day and many blessings to you.